Boston at Long Sunday. The Thai government declared war on the United States and Britain at noon Sunday. Bangkok, simultaneously with its declaration of war on Britain and America, Sunday, the Thai forces which have been stationed on the northern border of Thai territory commenced their drive towards Burma in close cooperation with Japanese troops Sunday afternoon. This will bring a serious blow to the British and Burmese troops, which have already lost their thoughts. A formation of five British warplanes attacked Bangkok at Oak Park. According to a report from Batavia, the high command of the Dutch East Indies announced that an operation of British War at New Britain and New Ireland served to throttle the vital communication link on which the United States had determined for its supply route to Australia. The operation practically brings the war on Australian soil as the British New Guinea Islands were under mandate following the close of the First World War. The former German territory now serves as an important base for Japanese policy on Australia while preventing all parts of reinforcements and supply from the American continent. At a certain Malay front, the comprehensive war results seen by the Japanese on the western coast of Malaya from January the 15th to Lisbon. In an official communique issued Friday, the Australian High Command announced that the Melbourne Enforcement in Lisbon Saturday revealed that the Australian War Cabinet has appealed to Prime Minister Wilson to continue his fierce offensive against Rangoon. The Japanese Army Air Force again bombed the Rangoon airfield twice on Saturday. This is Radio Tokyo, and we continue with the news. Bangkok. A Rangoon radio broadcast reported Saturday that British authorities had admitted the withdrawal of British and Burmese and the war front in Malaya. Enemy strongholds at Yuan Tan and Central Johore State were not been taken by the Japanese during their violent attack Friday morning, reports a special Yomiri dispatch. The enemy left behind 12 field guns and left after such an occupied Yuan Tan already reached up to the Malaya. Japanese competence driving along the railway line running through the central part of Malaya in its night attack on Friday. Until it just made by bigger Japanese attacks, British line and air forces exchanged fires among themselves in Malaya. In human tactics of the British Army were disclosed by the Japanese on the western coast of Malaya. At Sloan on the western coast of Lisbon, the United States War Department announced Saturday that the first attacks of the Japanese land, air, and naval forces against the United States and Philippine troops on the Bataan Peninsula was raging on the left flank where Japanese forces have occupied several important points on the west coast of the peninsula, the communique said. The Japanese have landed additional troops on the west coast of the Bataan Peninsula and are fiercely attacking the United States forces, the communique said. Madrid, the Spanish government announced that despite the attack on the coast base in the Philippines, the Japanese army fighters and bombers, in close cooperation with the Japanese land forces, have conducted unrelentless bombing continuously upon the brutal upon the brutal enemy still resisting in the Bataan Peninsula, south of Luzon Island. After reconnoitering the enemy movement from the air, Japanese crowds reported that the Japanese land forces had taken hold of the enemy strategic point at the foot of Mount Lachid. These Japanese land forces are further advancing with full speed toward an enemy strategic point in the Bataan Peninsula, the reconnoitering party added. The government finance authorities, in the course of questioning on the southern region's development, banks on the bank session Saturday, told about it that they will make every effort to retain native currencies in the South Seas area, occupied by the Japanese army, and to cut down the use of military notes to the minimum. The authorities which included Finance Minister Okinori Kaya and Vice Minister Sineji Kaniguchi declared that military notes will necessarily be issued at first for purpose of control, but they emphasize that the notes will be rated on par with native currencies and will be brought in with native currencies as soon as possible. No. All Italian news from Tokyo, Tokyo, and we continue with the news. Tintin's agitation has been further deepened by the critical situation of Singapore and the threat of the war, despite the explanation made by Roosevelt and the The detailed question of Tintin against the United States and Britain is mounting in the of the country. General Chiang Kai-shek is said to be intimidating the West Saigon. Six enemy villages, where the French government at this Saturday filed a strong protest with the Japanese uh, forces in Burma. There is every indication that great unrest has prevailed all over India. The British authorities in India, in extreme consternation, are attempting to suppress a possible riot by spreading anti-Japanese propaganda, thereby winning the Indian people over to anglo american South. However, the effect of the anti-Japanese propaganda will be nothing more than a drop of water in a bucket. 
the anti-British sentiment, has inversely become more serious and blunt daily. The Indian populace are looking for a new light to shine upon them. But they acknowledge dark clouds hanging over the British influence. In the history, 35 million people of India have labored for so long a time. Muslim, an extremely pessimistic atmosphere is pervading in the British government circle, owing to successive defeats of the British forces in East Asia. India has now become the immediate and most important question for Britain. In the event the war spreads to India and the Indians take arms against Britain, Britain will have no means to save the situation, the intelligence service is reported to have admitted. At present, even the British policemen in India are said to be under strict surveillance. Madrid. In reports on London, there is every indication that the British political situation is becoming increasingly critical, with the possibility of moving up either the resignation of the Churchill cabinet or holding of a general election. In an effort to force the resignation, several members of the British Parliament are said to be planning to Reports on Washington Saturday revealed that the United States government is expecting to receive shortly the report to the finding of a board of inquiry into the disastrous Pearl Harbor defeat on December the 7th last year, investigation into which was started in Honolulu early this month. On the finding of board hangs the face of Admiral Husband Kimo, who was removed from the command of the United States fleet and six fleet following the disaster. If the report finds evidence against him, Admiral Kimo will be court martialed. Lisbon. With the progress of the World Regional Conference, malicious maneuvers of the United States have been again brought before the public eye. Great results by a strong attitude of Argentina, the United States and the Secretary of State Sumner Wells. Both the Argentine representatives stating that the United States would start a revolution in Argentina if the country does not submit itself to the policy of the United States. However, this illegal intervention in Argentine's internal affairs was flatly rejected by the Argentine representatives. The present American attitude toward Argentina is exactly the same as that the United States took against Mexico and Panama, where the United States has already succeeded in bringing about revolution to overthrow governments which would have been unfavorable for the United States. Berlin. Anticipating the battering onslaught of German forces in Spain, King George VI and Queen Mary of Britain were moved from Buckingham Palace to a temporary residence in the West End before to Stockholm dispatch Saturday. Hong Kong. Local branch offices of the Yokohama City Bank and of the Bank of Taiwan, we bring you Bruno Brito, who will give you a talk in English on Catholic religion in the present war. Bureau of the Thai government issued the following communique Sunday evening. Despite propagated advocacy of justice and humanity, the air forces of the United States and Britain have already twice raided Thailand and attacked innocent people. Thailand will not tolerate such an illegal conduct. The Thai government declared war upon the United States and Britain for preserving honor of the Thai nation and for justice of the world. The people of Thailand have the honor of maintaining cooperation with Japan and march forward for the final victory, the statement concluded. Bangkok. In regard to the Thai declaration of war on Britain and the United States, Keiji Tsubogami, Japanese ambassador to Bangkok, declared Sunday that the decision of Thailand has clearly paved the way for the people of Thai to advance. Thai has virtually joined the camp of Japan to wipe out the Anglo-American influence from Asia, the ambassador added. Bangkok. Simultaneously with its declaration of war on Britain and America Sunday, the Thai forces which have been stationed on the northern border of Thai territory commenced their drive toward Burma in close cooperation with Japanese troops Sunday afternoon. This will bring a serious blow to the British and Burmese troops which have already, already lost their stronghold in the Shan Mountains. It is also believed that the British force to curb Thai by permitting the two king troops to enter the northern Burma has now completely been nullified. Bangkok, Prince Wallowan, on behalf of Premier Luang Jibo Songran, 
Hold on, Mr. Keiji Tsubogami, Japanese ambassador to Thailand, at 1.30 o'clock Sunday afternoon. I notified him that the government of Thailand declared war on the United States and Britain. Bangkok. A formation of five British warplanes attacked Bangkok at 8.35 o'clock Saturday evening for the second time since the outbreak of the War of Greater East Asia. The British planes, hindered by fierce anti-aircraft fire from Thailand Japanese forces, were repulsed, achieving no results as bombs fell aimlessly into the Menang River. One of the attacking aircraft was shot down by the anti-aircraft fire. The government finance authorities, in the course of questioning on the Southern Region's Development Bank bill, in the Diet session Saturday, told the Diet that that Lisbon, the United States War Department, announced Saturday that fierce attacks by the Japanese land, air, and naval forces. The Army fighter and bomber, in close cooperation with the Japanese land forces, have conducted relentless bombing continuously upon the brutal enemy still resisting in the Bataan Peninsula, south of Lusan Island. After recognizing the enemy movement from the air, Japanese flyers reported that the Japanese land forces have taken hold of the enemy's strategic point at the foot of Mount Natchez. These Japanese land forces were further advancing with full speed toward an enemy strategic point in the Bataan Peninsula, the reconnoitering party added. You are listening to Radio Tokyo. At a certain Malay front, the comprehensive war results gained. Units of the Japanese forces which occupied Yongpeng already reached a point some two and a half miles north of the Malayan front. Utterly dismayed by vigorous Japanese attacks, British land and air forces exchanged fires between themselves somewhere in Malaya. Inhuman tactics of the British army were disclosed by the Japanese on the western coast of Malaya. At Sloan, on the western seaboard, the enemy in a frantic struggle used poison gas and again at Helen before their retreat. A Rangoon radio broadcast reported Saturday that British authorities have admitted the withdrawal of British and Burmese troops from Kakare, enemy strategic base on the Thai-Burmese border near Moulmain, being unable to check speedy Japanese drives. In succession to Saturday's raid, the units of Japanese army planes on Sunday effected an air raid on the Rangoon airfield. Continuing its fierce offensive against Rangoon, the Japanese Army Air Force again bombed the Rangoon airfield twice on Saturday. During this air raid, the Japanese Army flyers shot down 10 enemy Curtis P-40 fighters and set fire to three large-type enemy planes on the ground. Kabul, Afghanistan. With the debouchement of the Japanese forces into Burma, there's every indication that great unrest has prevailed all over India. The British authorities in India, in extreme consternation, are attempting to suppress a possible riot by spreading anti-Japanese propaganda thereby winning the Indian people over to Anglo-American side. However, the effect of the anti-Japanese propaganda would be nothing more than a drop in a bucket. The anti-British sentiment has inversely become more serious and blunt daily. The Indian populace are looking for a new light to shine upon them when they notice dark clouds hanging over the British influence, under which the 35 million people of India have labored for so long a time. You are listening to Radio Tokyo from Lisbon, an extremely pessimistic atmosphere is prevailing in the British government circles owing to successive defeats of the British. Even the British policemen in India are said to be under strict surveillance. Madrid. In reports from London, there's every indication that the British political situation is becoming increasingly critical with the possibility looming of either the resignation of the Churchill cabinet or holding of a general election. In an effort to force a resignation, several members of the British parliament are said to be planning to attack the members of Churchill government, holding them responsible for British reversals in East Asia. British political circles are now literally upset before the opening of the parliament. Lisbon. Melbourne reports reaching Lisbon Saturday reveal that the Australian War Cabinet has appealed to Prime Minister Winston Churchill and President Kinkin's agitation has been further deepened by the critical security hands. We finally learned. Lisbon. With the progress of Rio de Janeiro conference, malicious maneuvers of the United States, this illegal intervention in home, a Southern newspaper Saturday morning jubilantly hailed the landing of 5,000 tons, including four American vessels, the 8,207-ton Malay, the 9,577-ton Mornet, the 5,433-ton city of Atlanta, the 6,998-ton Allen Jackson, and the 4,915-ton British tanker, Kambala, and the 
9,076 ton Cypher, as well as the 3,779 ton Latvian steamer, Citabera, the German high command announced Saturday. Furthermore, German submarines operating in the Atlantic this week reportedly sank four additional British merchantmen, totaling 21,000 tons, and heavily damaged another large transport vessel. In the battle against Britain, German aircraft Friday bombed supply dumps at Great Yarmouth, as well as airdromes in Scotland, the communique said. A British submarine was said to have been damaged by a German minesweeper off the Norwegian coast. German and Italian troops in North Africa Friday hurled back strong British forces beyond Agadabia in Libya, where well, German bombers carried out effective attacks Friday on British military establishments on the island of Malta, the communique said. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we will repeat the first portion of news for those who may not have may not have heard. <laughs> Bangkok. The Thai government declared war on the United States and Britain at noon Sunday. Bangkok again. Fiercely attacking Great Britain and the United States for their illegal acts of aggression against Thai territory and wanton bombing of Thai city in violation of the international law, Thailand declared war against Britain and the United States at noon Sunday. The declaration of war, which was made in the name of King Ananda Mahido, was officially announced by Premier Luam Peebul Songram over radio at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Simultaneously, the Thai government urged the people of Thailand to attend to their business as calmly as in peacetime and ask the people for their complete cooperation for the ultimate victory. Bangkok, clarifying the significance of Thailand's declaration of war against the United States and Britain, Mr. Bittis, chief of the publicity bureau of the Thai government, issued a following communique Sunday evening. Despite propagated advocacy of justice and humanity, the air forces of the United States and Britain have already twice raided Thailand and attacked innocent people. Thailand will not tolerate such an illegal conduct. The Thai government declared war upon the United States and Britain for preserving honor of the Thai nation and for justice of the world. The people of Thailand have the honor of maintaining cooperation with Japan and must march forward for the final victory, the statement concluded. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes your radio news from Tokyo. For the past three and a half hours, you have been listening. For the past three and a half hours, you have been listening. For the past three and a half hours, you have been listening. Transmission. Regarding declaration of war by Thailand against the United States and the British Empire, Premier General Hideki Tojo made the following statement this morning before the full session of the House of Peers. We quote, As you know, Thailand has for a long time understood fully the real intentions of Japan. And on December the 21st last year, she entered into offensive and defensive alliance treaty with Japan. In view of the continuous wanton attack by the British forces on the Thai territory, she has at last formally declared war yesterday, January the 25th, on the United States and the British Empire, joining her forces with Japan on a common front to crush the British forces. I wish to take this occasion to pay once again my profound prospects and my profound respect to the far-sightedness and determination of the Thai nation with respect to the present grave trend of the world. At the same time, I desire to express my firm conviction in our victories as a result of this righteous war. The day would not be distant when the new order in Greater East Asia, based on ethical principles for which both Japan and Thailand are jointly exercising their efforts, be completely realized." Unquote. The Japanese army units, in close cooperation with the naval forces, have landed at Balik Papan on the southeast coast of Dutch Borneo. Early on the morning of January the 24th, it was announced by the Imperial Headquarters at 11.45 o'clock Monday morning. The announcement added that the operations following the landing is being extended. Dalek Papan is one of the strategic air bases linking Dalekti with Surabaya, 450 miles to the south. Lisbon. A report from Rangoon states that the British troops in Burma have started to retreat from Moulmain, an important city southeast of Rangoon, in the face of fierce offensive of Japanese forces. Moulmain is situated at the mouth of the Salween River along the Gulf of Martaban, and is the site of the Moulmain airfield. 
concerning the latest war situations and activities of the Japanese army forces in Malaya, Burma, the Philippines Islands, British and Dutch Borneo, Bismarck Island, and China. During the period between January the 15th and 23rd, the Imperial Headquarters made the following announcement Sunday afternoon. One, the Malay Front. The Japanese forces advancing along the western coast of the Malay Peninsula occupied Malaysia at noon on January the 15th. Continuing advance steadily, the Vanguard crossed the Mua River the same evening and launched an offensive against British troops on the left bank of the Mua River. In the meantime, powerful units of the Japanese mechanized forces, braving attacks of enemy aircraft and defying enemy submarines, landed in the vicinity of Batu Pahat on January the 16th and immediately attacked the rear of the British troops on the left bank of the Mua River. The main forces of the Japanese army crossed the Mua River and occupied the area along the left bank of the river in the vicinity of Bakri and Paritoslan. Making a steady drive in the southern part of the Johor Plain, the vanguard of Japanese forces, 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 on January the 22nd, advanced the vanguard of Japanese forces, the vanguard of Japanese forces, the vanguard of the 2nd, advanced on January the 22nd, advanced on January the 22nd, advanced to the area southwest of Yonsei. During the engagement along the Murai River, the Japanese forces annihilated the British 45th Brigade. Meanwhile, the Japanese forces, which advanced in the central part of the Malay Peninsula, occupied Saramban on January the 13th and Tampin on January the 14th. Launching a roundabout attack against the rear of the British troops. Bank 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 of the Japanese forces. Occupied Segamat on January the 20th. Two days later, the Japanese forces. Two days later, the Japanese forces. Two days later, the Japanese forces advanced to the district west of Lac. Two days later, the Japanese forces. Two days later, the Japanese forces and are now advancing southward. And are now advancing southward. Japanese forces on the eastern word from the direction of Kwantan changed their course toward Kuala Lumpur by way of Maran and Karak. While other units of the Japanese forces on January the 15th reached the point north of Endo, which the Japanese forces occupied on January the 20th, and reached the area north of Mersing on January the 22nd. Meanwhile, since January the 15th, mighty formations of the Japanese army bombers and fighters conducted air raids 28 times against Singapore and destroyed important military establishments in the city and inflicted heavy blows upon remaining British Air Force. During this period, the Japanese Army Air Force shot down 55 British planes and destroyed 53 others. The announcement issued by the Imperial Headquarters Sunday evening for the first time disclosed the activities of Japanese forces in the Dutch and British colonies in the southwestern Pacific. In Dutch Borneo, Japanese forces, after crushing the Dutch remnants on top after crushing the Dutch remnants on top, after crushing the Dutch remnants on top, after crushing the Dutch remnants on top, oil fields at Jusa and Bushi Chagol on January the 14th. In Bonnie, shot down five Dutch fighter planes 